A warm welcome to you, our Faculty of Health Sciences students. This being one of your first major steps toward officiating your tertiary education experience. In welcoming our students, we extend a warm welcome to the guardians of our future graduates, departmental staff, and your faculty administrative consultant. Introducing you to your faculty academic administrative consultant, an accompaniment on your journey toward qualifying. Should you have any questions or uncertainty, please contact your consultant via email. In addition to this, a registration readiness web page has been created, providing further details and support service information. Your administrative consultant plays an integral role in you reaching your finish line. Our faculty consultants provide humanizing student-centered and staff support through consultative engagement, assisting with registration, module amendments and graduation, to name a few. Down payment and bursary holders. Prior to completing your online registration, a down payment amount is payable. A table is provided on screen. Sponsorships. Students with a sponsor may register without making the down payment, provided the sponsorship is sufficient to cover the full down payment amount and proof of sponsorship commitment letter is sent to student accounts and Mrs. Zoleka Mpompa prior to registering. Please note, successful NSFAS candidates with an accepted NSFAS status are not required to make a down payment prior to registration. Students who will reside on residence are to make an additional down payment up front. In successfully registering, please note the following. Ensure you have your student number and five-digit PIN at hand. The five-digit PIN should have been received by the qualifying student via SMS. The institution's primary medium of communication is email. To ensure your digital connectivity is set up, please make use of the provided links to set up your institutional email on your devices. Step 1. Visit the Registration Readiness site. Proceed to complete the readiness check confirming your status or ability to register online. Having completed your registration readiness checklist, log in to register now. Link provided on screen. Step three, make use of your student number and the five digit PIN to access the registration portal. Step four, on the right hand side of your screen, your personal particulars will reflect and on the left the steps to registering for your first year. Navigate to registration on the drop down panel. Proceed to scroll clicking declaration. Once read click I accept. Step 5 subject registration. Download the curriculum qualification document containing the modules for annual completion. On screen is a duplicate of the information reflected in your PDF download. All modules to be selected for first year are indicated on screen. Step six, register now. Proceed to select the appropriate pro employment status using the drop-down options provided, followed by clicking save and continue. Step 7. Module Selection On screen, some information to note. Qualification information is found in the top left-hand corner, with the total number of credits visible in the top right-hand grid. A list of modules will reflect below, confirming whether the module is compulsory and its credit value. At the end of your academic year, the credit value for your first year, indicated in the top right hand grid, should be the goal worked toward. Using the curriculum qualification document downloaded previously, please select all compulsory modules for your first year. Once complete, click Save and Continue. Step 8. 
Module Confirmation. Step 8 provides a visual reflection of the module selected in the previous step and the details provided. Please double check that that which reflects on your screen is what is required from the curriculum qualification document. With the modules listed on your screen, further details regarding each are provided. The campus on which the module is offered, the semester in which the module will occur, whether the module is examinable, and the credit value. Happy? Click continue or restart process to make amendments. Step 9. Finalize registration. On screen you will find a financial breakdown of the module selected and confirmed for your first year. A subtotal of the year's academic costing is also indicated. Proceed to read the disclaimer, select I accept and click accept registration. A proof of registration document is generated, which we advise you email to an address of your choice. This is a handy breakdown of your first year at a financial glance. Navigate to the left hand drop down menu on screen. Scroll to email proof of registration. Insert an address of your choice and click send. Once the document has been successfully emailed, navigate to the drop down menu. Click your Mandela password. This is a password provided or chosen for use to log into your institutional email and student portal, amongst others. 12. Select opt-in for NSFAS device, should you wish to obtain a laptop to assist with your tertiary learning experience. Should you wish to refrain from opting for a device, please skip this step. Kindly note. This step in the registration process is one not directly related to faculty administration's portfolio. Our ICT services department will get in touch with students directly regarding collection of your device. Student email access. Email being the institution's primary medium of communication, we advise that you set up your email address as soon as possible. Please visit the link provided on screen to access your student email. What is my student email address? Your student email address begins with the letter S for student, followed by your student number at mandela.ac.za. The password requested would be the one obtained or created in step 11 of this registration process. Please pay careful attention to this checklist to ensure you have completed all important steps of this process. Accurate module selection for your first year. Proof of registration emailed to an address of your choice and your password having been created or obtained. Some important dates to note. On screen is a table detailing the financial implications involved in late module cancellation. The first column indicates the period in which the module is offered, the start and end date for module cancellations, and the financial percentage liable for payment in the event of late cancellations. Please note, enrollment, cancellations, and module amendments must be done by you using this online registration process until online registration closes. Thereafter, please contact your administrative consultant for assistance. Congratulations, your registration is now complete. Please be reminded to check your communication platforms regularly. Regards, your faculty administrative consultants, Faculty of Health Sciences.